हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विथ विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट द टॉपिक सोशल फॉरेस्ट्री बिफोर प्रेजेंटेशन आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव आई हैव कंप्लीटेड एम एस एग्रीकल्चर विथ स्पेशलाइज इन इकोनॉमी फ्रॉम जी बी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत नगर इन नाइनटीन सो लेट्स प्रोसीड टू द प्रेजेंटेशन सोशल फॉरेस्ट्री वाट इज सोशल फॉरेस्ट्री द फॉरेस्ट्री आउट साइड द कन्वेंशनल फॉरेस्ट which primarily aims at providing continuous flow of goods and services for the benefit of people this definition implies that the production of forest goods for the need of the local people is social forestry thus social forestry aims at growing forest of the choice of the local population social forestry is playing very very important role for providing the fuels fodders woods and agriculture produces forest producers to the community for their usage so this social forestry aims for the development of local community residing near the forest social forestry refers to the management of forest for the benefit of local communities it includes aspects such as forest management forest protection and afforestation of deforested lands with the objectives of improving the rural environmental and social development conceptually social forestry deals with poor people to produce goods such as fuel fodder etc to meet the need of the local community particularly under privileged section now to study the development of social forestry in india social forestry is management and development of forest with afforestation means growing of new forest on barren lands to achieve environmental benefit and rural development the term social forestry was first used by national commission on agriculture which is a part of government of india in 1976 under sixth five year plan and the aim of taking the pressure off the forest and making use of all unused and fallow lands this concept of village forest to meet the needs of the rural people is not new it has existed throughout the centuries all over the country but it was now given a new character and here the government and local community is playing important role for development of the social forestry which aims for the requirement local people tribal or underprivileged people for the needs of fuel this food fiber and this agriculture produces when forest produce woods etc for their demand generation and employment here we will go through the need of social forest in india government forest areas that are close to human settlement and have been degraded over the years due to human activities needed to be afforested the tree were to be planted in and around agriculture lands agriculture fields dominant rural population that still depends largely on fuel wood and other biomass for their cooking and heating they should be supported and social forestry also aims at raising plantations by the common man so as to meet these demands through the social forestry scheme the government has involved community participation as a part of a drive towards afforestation and rehabilitating the degraded forest and common lands so there is need mainly depending upon the local community by which afforestation measures we can increase the forest areas and we can support the local community to meet their demands now we will go through evolution of social forestry concepts social forestry was first recognized as an important component of forestry development and meeting the rural needs in the interim report of the national commission on agriculture on social forestry during 1972 the commission stressed on the socio economic importance of social forestry for rural community as well as in the management of forest resources it was felt that by taking up the program of raising trees grasses and fodder in the farmers own lands village common lands wastelands and degraded forests close to habitations it would be 
possible to meet the requirement of fuel, wood, fodder, small timber for rural housing and agriculture implements. In social forestry, afforestation is playing important role. What is afforestation? Afforestation is the process of planting trees or sowing seeds in a barren land devoid of any trees to create a forest. Means, afforestation is the creating forest in new lands. Afforestation is the establishment of a forest or a stand of trees in an area where there was no previous tree cover. Many government and non-governmental organizations directly engage in programs of afforestation to create forests. Afforestation in the post-independence period can be divided into three phases. In first phase, Ban Mahotsa was started in 1950s, but it failed because it was unable to attract attention largely due to ignorance at all levels. In second phase, farm forestry was started in some states in 1970s. In third phase, the period when social forestry program actually took off in 1980s with massive programs and ambitious targets. So there were different phases where the government tried its best to increase the social forestry and ultimately after 1980s through social forestry it has taken the some steps. Social forestry is social in the sense of being socially configured that is adaptable, dynamic and responsive to the context and social environment. Social forestry projects take varying forms depending on the particular conditions like political, economic, cultural and ecological environment and remain flexible because of the social creativity of the participating interest group shaping this forest management. Simply, social forestry is the practice of forestry of the people, forestry by the people and forestry for the people. Now we will study about classifications of social forestry. Social forestry is classified in three types of forestry like rural forestry, extension forestry and farm forestry. Rural forestry again divided in two types of forestry like community forestry and agroforestry. Now we will discuss about each category in details. In case of farm forestry, individual farmers are being encouraged to plant trees on their own farmland to meet the domestic need of the family. And farm forestry is used for set for the agriculture crops, as wind shelters, for soil conservation and to use wastelands by making the forestry and it is having the economic benefits also. In case of extension forestry, there are planting of trees on the sides of roads, canals and railways along with planting on wastelands for helping in increasing boundaries of forests. Now rural forestry. It is of two types, first one is community forestry and second is agroforestry. In case of community forestry, collectively implemented on communal land and local populations participate in the planning, establishing, managing and harvesting of forest crops and so receive a major proportion of the socio-economic and ecological benefit from the forest. In case of agroforestry, land use system which integrates trees and shrubs on farmlands and rural landscapes to enhance productivity, profitability, diversity and ecosystem sustainability. Here to study the social forestry practices. Social forestry practices combines of different practices like first one is raising wind breaks on dry farmlands, second planting shelter belts, third planting along roadsides. Fourth, planting in village common lands and wastelands. Fifth, planting along the railway lines and canal banks. Sixth, planting a small wood slots in farmlands if it is large. Seventh, planting for sure areas of irrigation tanks. And eighth, reclamation of highly degraded and eroded soils. And ninth, afforestation of command areas of irrigation projects. So, Social forestry is involving various practices. Wind breaks are one of the practices in social forestry. 
विंड ब्रेक्स आर सच स्ट्रक्चर्स विच ब्रेक द विंड फ्लो एंड रिड्यूस विंड स्पीड वाइल सेंटर बेल्स आर रोज ऑफ ट्रीज और श्रब्स प्लांटेड फॉर प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ क्रॉप अगेंस्ट विंड ए रो ऑफ ट्रीज एंड श्रब्स प्लांटेड अक्रॉस द विंड डायरेक्शन इज द मोस्ट इफेक्टिव द विंड ब्रेक रिड्यूसेस द विंड स्पीड ऑन द लिवार्ड साइट एट टू हंड्रेड मीटर एवे अप टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट सो दिज बोथ विंड ब्रेक्स एंड सेल्टर बेल्ट आर वर्किंग एज ए प्रोटेक्टिव मेजर्स फॉर द कल्टिवेशन ऑफ द क्रॉप्स सेल्टर बेल्ट आर द बेल्ट और ब्लॉक्स विच आर कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ सेवरल रोज ऑफ ट्रीज इस्टेब्लिश एट राइट एंगल्स टू द prevailing wind conditions and what are the purpose of shelter belts shelter belts deflect air currents reduces the velocity of winds and provide general protection to the leeward areas against the effect of wind erosion here we can see the windward side and leeward side the when the wind is crossing the shelter belts after that the a uh, wind's velocity reduces the that direction is known as leeward side and shelter belts are protecting the leeward areas from dissipating effects of hot winds and it's also helpful to provide fuel fodder and timber as a cultivation now we will study about objectives of social forestry social forestry schemes that have been started all over the country have made a considerable difference in overall forest cover in a short time means there are the fruitful results of social forestry scheme a forestation outside the conventional forest area for the benefit of rural and urban communities have also contributed well the objectives of social forestry adopted by the commission of agriculture in 1976 were based on the economic needs of the community aimed at improving the conditions of living and the objectives are first one to fulfill the basic requirement such as fuel fodder a small timber supplementary food and income from surplus forest products to the rural area and replacement of cow dung second to provide employment opportunities and to increase family income considerable for alleviating poverty and third to develop cottage industries in rural areas and fourth to organize them in their struggle for socio economic development and to integrate economic gains in the distribution of their benefit to the rural society fifth objective is to provide congenial environment and preserve communities cultural identity and their life related to forest and sixth to indoctrinate the value of village level self sufficiency and self management in the production as well as distribution of forest products with social justice seventh to form the villagers into a well knit community and an effective functional unit of society which can shape its own destiny and eighth objective to play a vital role in the reclamation of degraded lands conservation of soil and moisture improvement of agriculture production and prevention of environmental deterioration after that ninth to increase the natural beauty of the landscapes create recreational forest for the benefit of rural and urban population and tenth to protection of agricultural fields against wind speed and natural calamity and eleventh to solve the food problem of the rural area to a great extent certain edible fruits like cashew mango coconut and palms have been high nutritional value and grow under social forestry program then 12th to utilize the available land according to its carrying capacity and 13th increasing forest areas and restoring ecological balance so these are the objectives of social forestry what are the scopes of social forestry the main scopes of social forestry can be defined as avenue planting in cities these days in all cities mostly for urban development there is planting of forestry which is for pollution control environmental suitability and parks development which are necessity of the society now establishment of industrial shelter belts 
दिस फॉरेस्ट्री प्लांटेशन इज डन इंडस्ट्रियल एरियाज ऑल्सो एंड मैनेजमेंट ऑफ अर्बन पार्कस एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ पार्कस वे आर द फॉरेस्ट इज वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट सोर्स विच आर हेल्पफुल फॉर द इन्वायरमेंट प्रोटेक्शन एंड एंड सप्लाइंग द बेसिक नीड्स ऑफ द रूरल पीपुल आफ्टर दैट अर्बन कंपोजिट्स मैनेजमेंट एंड इफिशियंट रिसाइकलिंग सो दीज आर द स्कोप्स ऑफ सोशल फॉरेस्ट्री द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ सोशल फॉरेस्ट्री इट कैन बी डिफाइंड एज फर्स्ट फार्म फॉरेस्ट्री फार्म फॉरेस्ट्री इज द नेम गिवन टू प्रोग्राम्स विच प्रोमोट कॉमर्शियल ट्री ग्रोइंग बाई फार्मर्स ऑन देयर ऑन लैंड्स फार्म फॉरेस्ट्री वॉज डिफाइंड बाई नेशनल कमीशन ऑन एग्रीकल्चर इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी सिक्स इज द प्रैक्टिस इन ऑल इट्स एस्पेक्ट्स इन एंड द अराउंड द फार्म्स और विलेज लैंड्स इंटीग्रेटेड विथ अदर फार्म ऑपरेशंस सेकेंड इज एक्सटेंशन फॉरेस्ट्री इट इज द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ फॉरेस्ट्री इन एरियाज डिवाइड ऑफ ट्री ग्रोथ एंड अदर वेजिटेशन सिचुएटेड इन प्लेस अवे फ्रॉम द कन्वेंशनल फॉरेस्ट एरियाज विथ द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग द एरिया अंडर ट्री ग्रोथ एंड द एक्सटेंशन फॉरेस्ट्री इंक्लूड्स मिक्स फॉरेस्ट्री shelter belts and linear tree plantations and the mixed forestry is the practice of forestry for raising fodder grasses with scattered fodder trees fruit trees and fuel wood trees on suitable wastelands panchayat lands and village common area after that shelter belts shelter belt is defined as a belt of trees and or shrubs maintained for the purpose of shelter from wind sun snow drift to the commercial crop then in linear tree plantations these are the plantations of fast growing species on linear strips of land third component is rehabilitation of degraded forest the degraded area under forest needs immediate attention for ecological restoration and for meeting the socio economic needs of the communities living in and around such areas so in such areas there should be reforestation where we can go for plantation again where we have already losses the trees it will help for ecological balance and environmental control after that fourth is recreation forestry it is the practice of forestry with the object of raising flowering trees and shrubs mainly to serve as a recreation forest for the urban and rural population this type of forest is also known as aesthetic forestry which is defined as the practice of forestry with the object of developing or maintaining a forest of high scenic value now to study the benefits of social forestry it can be described as first one increase the supply of fuel wood and fodder to the local community second generate rural employment third maintain ecological balance fourth appropriate use of wastelands by means of social forestry and fifth it promotes village and cottage industries sixth induces environmental and tree consciousness among people and seventh relieve pressure from natural forest and eighth stabilize agriculture production so these are the some benefits which are available to the local community because of social forestry when we are offering for social forestry there are criteria for choice of a species selection in order to implement schemes of social forestry the first important consideration is the choice of a species to be planted as this depend on several factors it is necessary to know the considerations which govern the choice of a species trees constitute the major component and other components like grasses bushes fodder and even crops tends to be relegated to secondary position trees suitable for roadside planting should be hardy evergreen or winter deciduous wind firm fast growing at least in the early stages and it should have fairly tall A species should be suited to climatic, edaphic, physiographic, and biotic factors. Trees for farm forestry should have long tap roots. It is should be attenuated means it should have not competitive for commercial crops and other winter deciduous crown, so that they may not affect the productivity of agriculture crops. 
ट्रीज शुड हैव एट्रैक्टिव क्राउंस एंड श्रब्स शुड बी एमनेबल टू प्रोनिंग इन टू एट्रैक्टिव क्राउन सेप्स दे शुड नॉट हैव प्रोमिनेंट थॉर्नस एंड दे आर प्लांटिंग एंड केयरिंग शुड बी इजियर एंड इकोनॉमिकल स्पेसिस शुड बी मल्टीपर्पज इन यूज फॉर फायरवुड फॉडर फूड ऑयल टेनिंग मेटेरियल होस्ट ऑफ सिल्क और टसर वार्म्स और लैक इंसेक्ट्स एट्सेट्रा हेर वी हैव लिस्टेड आउट द मल्टीपर्पज ट्री स्पेसिज विच आर कॉमनली यूज इन सोशल फॉरेस्ट्री द सम स्पेसिज विच आर प्लेइंग इम्पोर्टेंट लाइक एकेसिया द अजेडिडेक्टा मीन्स नीम कल्टिवेशन देन यूक्लिप्टिस स्पेसिज पॉपुलर पॉपुलस स्पेसिज आफ्टर दैट सम इम्पोर्टेंट्स आर केजुरीना एंड आफ्टर दैट टेमेरिंडस मीन्स द टेमेरिंड कल्टिवेशन सो दीज आर द लिस्टेड ट्रीज हुड्स हुच आर बेस्ट सुटेड फॉर सोशल फॉरेस्ट्री नव विल स्टडी द अचीवमेंट्स ऑफ सोशल फॉरेस्ट्री सिंस इंसेप्शन इस पर द रिपोर्ट्स इट कैन बी डिस्क्राइब्ड एज इंक्रीज एरिया अंडर ट्री कवर इंक्रीज प्रोडक्शन ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल टिम्बर्स फायरवुड एंड फॉडर इंक्रीज इम्प्लोमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर द रूरल पुअर इम्प्रूवमेंट इन इन्वायरमेंटल कंडीशंस एंड इनहेंस द कंजर्वेशन ऑफ सॉयल एंड वाटर टेबल सो दिस सोशल फॉरेस्ट्री इज प्लेइंग इम्पोर्टेंट रोल फॉर द नीड ऑफ द पीपुल इन लोकल कम्युनिटी एंड इन्वायरमेंटल प्यूरिफिकेशंस हेयर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट सम इम्पोर्टेंट स्कीम्स विच आर बींग इम्प्लीमेंटेड फॉर सोशल फॉरेस्ट्री लाइक एरियल सीडलिंग्स इन दिस केस वी आर प्लांटिंग द सीडलिंग्स थ्रो एरियल मोड विच आर इस्टेब्लिशिंग इन द सॉयल आफ्टर गेटिंग द सुटेबल मॉइस्चर टू द फील्ड्स देर एरिया ओरिएंटेड फ्यूल वुड एंड फॉडर स्कीम्स सम एवार्ड्स आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड फॉर द प्रोमोशन ऑफ सोशल फॉरेस्ट्री कैटेगराइजेशन एंड आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ वेस्ट लैंड फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सोशल फॉरेस्ट्री डिसेंट्रलाइज नर्सरीज प्रोग्राम्स एक्सटर्नली एडेड प्रोजेक्ट्स आर देयर फॉर द प्रोमोशन ऑफ द सोशल फॉरेस्ट्री ग्रेंड्स इन एड टू वॉलंट्री एजेंसीज ग्रीनिंग ऑफ हिमालयाज मार्जिन मनी असिस्टेंस स्कीम देन ऑपरेशन सोयल वाच प्रोमोशन ऑफ कोऑपरेटिव्स, रूरल फ्यूलवुड प्लांटेशन स्कीम्स स्कीम्स ऑन माइनर फॉरेस्ट प्रोड्यूस सिल्वी पास्टरल स्कीम्स एंड ट्री पट्टा स्कीम सो दीज आर द सम स्कीम्स which are implemented for the growth and development of social forestry even the lot of efforts has been taken by the government and other organization for the development and promotion of social forestry after that also there are a lot of constraints which are working as a hurdle some of them have been listed out here like first one is antipathy to trees local community is not interested for the cultivation of trees uh, compared to एग्रीकल्चर क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन क्रेडिट स्कीम्स मार्केट सपोर्ट मेजर्स एंड टैक्स रूल्स आर नॉट सो फ्रेंडली फॉर द फॉरेस्ट्री स्कीम सो द कम्युनिटी एंड फार्मर्स आर डाइवर्टिंग टू एग्रीकल्चर क्रॉप्स आफ्टर दैट लैक ऑफ एप्रोप्रिएट टेक्नोलॉजी लैकिंग ऑफ एप्रोप्रिएट पॉलिसीज एंड पब्लिक अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम विच इज लैकिंग मोटिवेटिंग द फार्मर्स टू ऑप्ट फॉर सोशल फॉरेस्ट्री आफ्टर दैट लैकिंग ऑफ सुटेबल ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस most people so future ignoring behavior they are not future conscious and they are thinking about the present so mostly their focus is on agriculture crop production rather forestry after that a small size of holdings and land ownership also one of the barrier because of which the community and farmers are preferring for agriculture crops then social forestry generates common property resource because of which one person cannot demand or dominate on the resources because of this most of the farmers community diverting to other crops compared to so forestry schemes so this presentation was all about social forestry hope this will be helpful to all of you now my presentation ends here thank you very much i have given here my youtube channel details journey with vijay kumar shrivastava having request please visit the channel subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback for further improvements to be done thank you